Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Here at your call for the Warren Boxing Management Show. Paul Mann joins me. Paul, thanks for giving me some of your time. I know, of course, you're busy with a couple of guys tonight. But, uh, yeah, just something we kind of wanted to clear up in the boxing world. Um, heartbreak for you guys last week. The biggest night of Zach Parker's career, and it ended not how you would have wanted in terms of the result, but also not how you would have wanted in the manner as well. Um, just kind of from your point, first off, before we talk about the ins and outs, heartbreaking for, for, for Team Parker. Yeah, absolutely devastating, as you know. That was the one of the pinnacles of uh, not just Zach Parker's career, but ourselves as well, running from 1999, like nearly 30 years. And uh, Zach Parker, uh, you know or don't know, we had his brothers with us who boxed for us as well. And, uh, you know, after so many highs with Tyler Denny, winning three weeks ago in the English title, another underdog, and then we had Liam Davies winning the European against Baluta, then we had Kirsty Babington winning the B European as well on Fight Zone and uh, then Zach Parker was just a pinnacle, we was going there 100% confident, confident and uh, I believe if he didn't have the injury we would have carried on and won, but yeah it was devastating but these things happen, these things happen and uh, fair play and big props out to uh, John Ryder as well, an absolutely lovely, beautiful soul and uh, yeah it was, it was an, his night yeah. on that night. When we talk about the extent of the injury, can you understand why at the time, and I know we just spoke about this off camera, Zach got a bit of criticism from people saying he might have flapped it, he pulled out too early. People have fought on with injuries, we know that, it's not a new thing in boxing. But can you perhaps understand why at the time, before people knew and saw the things on social media, people were quick, fans were quick to jump on Zach, can you understand why? I 100%, uh, you know, if, if you're there, but at the same time, people are saying that, but he was, he was up on all judges' cards as well. So when people are saying them things, I understand and at the same time, you've got to understand that the, the, the fact that he's winning as well. You know what I mean? And how devastated we, was we in the corner as well. But I know Zach. And as you know, when he fought Darrell Williams and they keep going on about that fight, believe me, two hands and there's no one beating the kid. The kid is phenomenal. And these things happen. And remember another thing as well, and all fighters have gone on, and they've gone on and fought with broken hands, broken shoulders, injuries. So is he. But remember, there's a shoulder injury there from before. And then, but we're not making no excuses here. The hand is broken. It's actually, it's a clean break for that. To have a clean break, you've got to punch on with full force. And uh, it's a lot of power there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what happened. And, but there's another eight rounds to go. And you're fighting John Ryder, who's like number one. He's relentless. He's relentless. And he was winning them three rounds. Believe me, I can't take nothing away because these things happen. But we was going there full, full confidence. And I'm telling you, Zach would have won that fight, I believe. But things have happened. And it was all the, the stars and everything aligned for John Ryder. And so they should as well. God bless the kid, man. Fair play to him. And I hope he goes on and gets the Canelo fight. But can you imagine? Yeah, the kid's got the Canelo fight in the, in the pipe. And you think he's just going to give it up like that? Come on, guys. Get real, man. That that ain't happening. That's not happening. Can you tell us a little bit about the discussions that went on in the corner? Because obviously I was ringside and I said this to you. When you're ringside and you're not watching the TV commentary, it's just carnage. Everyone's looking to see what's going on. Um, so we saw the discussion and then obviously Zach and John walked to the neutral corner. What was the discussions in the corner? Because I can imagine everything would have been said to try and not get the fight to be done there and then. So what were the discussions exactly between you guys and Zach? Well, the discussion is this, yeah. Knowing Zach from when he was 11 years old, yeah, he's been coming. We, I know how good and how tough that kid is. He's come in the corner and he's gone to myself and Errol Johnson. My hand's broken. This is it. It's gone. And when he says that, you just know. No matter what we had said, and now taking things into consideration and speaking to the physicians and speaking to the hand specialists, they said if he had carried on, that could have been the end of his career. So by the grace of God, when I said the stars align, these things happen. And yeah, we're humble. We're humble, yeah, in victory. But we are gracious in defeat as well.
And I know obviously you just said you hope John Ryder goes on and gets a Canelo fight. Yeah. A long road back for Zach in terms of recovering from the injury and I know he's put some videos on social media and we saw him in the hospital bed of course. Um, have you even had time to think about a potential return or any, I don't know, like a timeline on how long it could be or is it just look, get better and then we'll talk about this perhaps in the new year? You know what, I'm going to be serious here. I've already put it out there. It's done. He's going to be world champion and he's going to come back. And he's going to come back even stronger, believe me. We already put it out there. It's done. The thing is now, the recovery, the injury, he's gone private, paid a lot of money, and now he's had the operation today. You've all seen it on social media, and that, those that have uh, looked on social media, and he will be back stronger. And uh, I still say it now, he will be world champion, by the grace of God. Was you like I said, a lot to go, but just one more thing. If John Ryder doesn't land the Canelo fight, will you actively push for the John Ryder rematch? Because, of course, we didn't get the full fight that we wanted, um, and it's a fight people were excited about and still want to see. Or is it kind of, Zach will get there in your eyes, but you perhaps look at another route and kind of forget about John Ryder and the rest of that and, and leave John to his own thing? First of all, Oscar, I'm the trainer. I'm the one who puts on the pads and with him day in, day out in that sense. I leave that to the likes of Anero Johnson as well. Neil Marsh, the management and the promoter, big promoter, he's got behind him, Frank Warren. They make them decisions, but we're ready for whichever route. And we'd love, we'd absolutely right that wrong and uh, have the John Ryder fight again. But by the grace of God, hopefully he gets a Canelo fight. If he doesn't, 100%, we'd love that fight. Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9 pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see, if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session.